In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson Workforce WF2960 or 2860 to your smartphone to be able to print and also to scan using the Wi-Fi. I'll show you how to do everything. So let's get started right away by connecting the printer to your Wi-Fi network. So on your control panel, there's two ways that this can be done. First of all, on top here, you can see there's a smartphone with a Wi-Fi symbol and right on the left, there is a router with a Wi-Fi symbol. You can go ahead and click on this icon and this panel will appear. If you're unable to click on that icon, since the screen is quite small, you can actually go at the same place through the menus. So go into settings, general settings, network settings, Wi-Fi setup, and we're on the same screen as we were before. So once you're here, you need to click on the first option over here, Wi-Fi recommended. Then select start setup, Wi-Fi setup wizard. Now the printer will scan for every single uh, Wi-Fi network around it and it will give you this list. You just have to scroll through it until you see your Wi-Fi network appearing. Then you click on it and you have to enter the password. So over here, click on enter under enter password and you have to type it using this keyboard. Once you're done, make sure that you type the right password since the screen is quite small and hard to type. Once you're done, press the OK button, select Start Setup, wait a few seconds. If your Wi-Fi router is far away, it may take a few minutes. And you'll get a blue check mark once the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. Then this screen will appear and you'll have a blue icon instead of a gray one showing you that the printer is connected to the router. Once your printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network, you're gonna go on your smartphone. If you're on your iPhone, go on the App Store. If you're on the Android, on the Google Play Store, and you're gonna download the Epson Smart Panel app. It should look like this one. Go ahead and open the app. Once you're on this screen, we're gonna have to type a few things. So press on Agree, then OK, Next, Next, while using the app, next, allow, wait a few seconds, it will now search for your uh, printer, make sure that both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Here we go, I got two Epson printers here, this one is the first on the list. I'll tap on it. and I'll get the blue check mark telling me that both are now connected. Press OK, and then tap on Use Tiles on the bottom right side. If your printer is not running on the latest firmware, it will ask you to download it. In my case, it's all up to date, so I'll press OK. And this is the main menu screen of the app, the one that you'll always use every time you want to scan and print. Now let me show you how to print and also how to scan using the Wi-Fi. Let's print something. Press the print button, quite big here, the purple one. And then you have to select if you want to print a picture or a document. In my case, it's a document, so I'll select this one. And now you have to find this document on your smartphone. Let's say I want to print this one. I'll tap on it, I'll get a preview. And now before pressing the print button, I suggest you press on this over here where it says the size of your paper. This will allow us to see many other options. They should have made a big option button or settings. Anyway, here it is. You have, you'll be able to choose the printing range in case your document is, let's say 50 page, but you just want the first 10 to be printed. You can select here, paper size, make sure it's the right one. Media type, it's quite important. So if you're printing on glossy paper, you must select glossy paper in this over here. If you do not do this, your ink will smear and it won't look pretty. Trust me, I made this mistake uh, before. Then the other options are not that important apart over here, print quality. 
If you click on this, you have two different choices. You have standard, which is fine for text documents uh, with some light graphics. But if you're printing pictures, artwork, or a, let's say a very important document where you need your printer to deliver the best print quality, select high. In my case, I'll just keep it to standard since this is not important. Otherwise, over here you have color if you want uh, your print to be in black and white or color and two-sided printing if you want to print on both sides of the uh, page. So once you're done, select the number of copies and press the print button. Make sure you have some paper inserted before pressing that button. Also extend this tray. This is where the results will come in. So here we go. It should take just a few seconds. And here we go. It looks exactly how I expected. Now let me show you how to scan. This printer has two different scanners and I'll show how both of these are working. Over here, I'll press the small home icon. Okay, just to go back on the main menu. So as I said, this printer has two scanners. One of them is the scan bed, which is located right over here. Pretty typical. If you want to scan any documents, take it, put it facing down and you're going to notice there is an arrow over here. Make sure that the top part of your page, okay, so this is the top part, is where the arrow is and make also sure that the corner of your uh, paper is touching the arrow. So I'll just bring it so both here are touching. Then close down the lid. On your smartphone, you're going to select scan. And here you'll have a few options that you can select. First of all, document source. If you're scanning using the flatbed and you want to make sure that the printer does not make any mistakes, select scanner glass. Then document size, make sure that you have input the right one. Color, do you want your uh, scan to be in color or in black and white? Resolution, this is the most important setting. If you click on it, you have three different choices here. 200 dpi is plenty enough if you're scanning text. 300 is mostly if you have a document with some text and some graphics. You see this one? Let's say you want to have some details over here. You better select 300. 600 dpi, I only suggest you choose it if you're scanning pictures, artwork, a document with many fine details. This will give you the best scanning uh, resolution. Unfortunately, if you select this 600 dpi, the scanner will take quite a long time to scan since there are many details. Now let's go back here and you should also select image format. If you're scanning some documents, PDF is what most people are using. If you're scanning some pictures, choose JPEG instead. In my case, I'll leave it to PDF. Once you're done, you're going to select the start button and wait. Okay, so now we have a preview of the scan. You can zoom in to make sure that there's enough details. You can also delete it. If you don't like it, you can crop it. If you simply want to keep a certain portion of that scan, you can rotate it by pressing this button in case you're not happy with how it looks. If your document has multiple pages and you want to add some, simply press the plus button and scan the next one. But if your document has, let's say, more than five pages, I'll show you how to use the talk document feeder, which will scan them automatically just in a few seconds. Bear with me. So here we're going to press ne next. You'll have to give this scan a name. There is a default one, but I'm sure you will want to change that. And then you have location by tapping here, you're able to select where do you want this scan to be saved on your smartphone. I'll tap on use this folder, allow and press save. You'll get this message. The file is saved and you're good to go. You can also press this share button if you want to share this scan on social media or by email. Now let me show you how this top document feeder is working. So let's say you need to scan a large document. Here I only have three pages, but, but this one can uh, work with up to 20 pages. So I'll simply align them. I'll put them facing up with the first page on the top and the top of the page facing the left side like this. Okay, until I hear a small beep. This is just the scanner telling us that it has recognized that there's some paper there. And on the app, let me go back on the main screen here. You're going to select scan. 
the same way we did previously, but on top here, instead of sc scanner glass, you're going to select ADF and make sure that these settings are matching the documents you're trying to scan. If you want every single pages that will get scanned to be combined in one single PDF, make sure that PDF is selected here. Then press the scan button and just take a look. It's now going to take page by page and scan them without you having to touch anything. You just have to wait at this point. Once it's done, all the pages will appear on your screen and over here you can shuffle through them. If you have more than 20 pages to scan and you want to combine everything in one document, let's say you have a 100 page document, simply press the plus over here and you'll be able to add more pages. So you can simply load them 20 at the time, wait and then reload 20 simply by pressing that plus button. And otherwise it's the same setting. So by pressing next, you'll be able to give this document a new name, select a new location where this needs to be saved, share it or save it on your smartphone. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to support my channel, check the Amazon affiliate links down in the description. If you want to get some ink, some paper, or even a new printer. Every time you buy something from there, I get a very small commission that keeps the channel running. If not, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.